Okay, hello everybody, Jordy here at Carving Fusion. Um, this piece of wood is about two feet tall, about um, what, six inches wide, and an inch and a quarter thick, or two inches. So this is a piece of driftwood I found the other day in my beachcombing video. So what I want to carve on this piece is, I guess it would be like a wood spirit in a nuke, um, or like a broken piece of wood or something. I don't know, but let's just call it a nuke. Like, you know how they got the owls in a nuke? Let's do a wood spirit in a nuke. So I got a piece of paper here. Just to draw on a few examples of um, how we'll do the nuke thing. Okay, so let's just carry on. Okay, so when you do your nuke, you want your wood spirit to be inside of the outside of the wood, right? So you want to carve something like, um, let's just try this. You know the way Ryan Cook taught me? Is just to have like a nice S line. You can do it like this, you know, and then put your wood spirit in here, right? Or... I'm thinking I want to make it kind of look like a broken piece of wood and there's just a wood spirit popping out there so pretend this is our stick here so I'm thinking like something like that and then the wood spirits inside here so then I don't know if I'd leave it make it broken look broken on the bottom and make it just this beard kind of run off natural. So let's just try and make it look broken at the top. Maybe on the sides here. And then we'll put our wood spirit within there. Okay. So the most important thing, you got to draw it out. You, I don't know how I want to make this stick. If I want to make it this way, like this part up or this way. I think this way. Hey, it looks like a wood spirit nose right there actually. I think this way is better because then you can make his beard wider at the bottom. And there's a crack right here I can see. I have no idea what type of wood this is. So let's do this. Let's draw on our top cracks. Let's put the wormhole there. So let's do that. Keep it like this. We'll end up cleaning up all this wood here. I think this might be cottonwood, maybe. So where do we want to put our wood spirit? Because this, there's no carving here, just carving inside here, right? So this might turn out to be like a negative space wood spirit too, because I don't have much depth right here. It's a lot thinner. But just goes to show you guys, get any piece of wood you want. I don't suggest carving on a flat, a wood spirit on a flat place like this for the wood beginners. But if it's all you got, give her. Right? So here's your typical wood spirit. That's how I do my first layouts. I don't really need to draw them on anymore, but I do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we got this uh, Cutsole Burr here. I guess I could have made the cracks, everything up a bit higher, but that's okay. We got this Cutsole Burr here. This is a Taper Extreme Burr. If you guys want to get the Cutsoles, you uh, go to the in the description below, use the code C. It'll take you to the cuts all site. Use the code C Fusion. You'll save yourself five percent. Guys, once you get these spiky burrs like cuts all or saber tooths, they're way better than like the carbon burrs that you get. Like um, you know those other type of burrs you get like sets of them for like ten, sets of ten for like ten bucks. Don't get those. Get these things, man. That's when the wood carving really becomes a lot funner once you get better burrs, right? So stuff like this. So let's um do this and. Carry on, I guess. Yep. Okay, there you can see I got where it broke, right? So, you know, when you're carving driftwood or wood that you find in a field and it's gray and stuff like that, or like in a creek or a river, the gray part, so I decided when I was, sometimes you could leave that old wood on, that old color on there and just carve it wood spirit here, or whatever you're gonna carve here and just leave that old, but this stuff, I cleaned this up and some, took some of it off. But once you get it, put your stain on, it goes really dark like black, right? So. The deeper that you carve into the driftwood or the wood that you find when it's weathered, 
the more that you're going to find the natural color of the wood, right? So here's the natural color. I believe this is, um, uh, freaking, oh no, here we go again. Birch, that's it. I believe it's birch. So now I'm going to draw on the wood spirit. You know, I could have cut it all the way down this both sides and then made it look broken down here too. But you guys, it's just to show you, just to open up your imagination. Do what you want to do. It's your art, right? So carry on. So since I don't have much depth in this piece, um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's put our center line. Always have a center line for your very beginners. Okay, so this will be our eyes here too. And our nose. I My nose basically deciphers how big my piece is going to be. So this guy's got a fairly slender nose. You guys, I have full tutorials carving wood spirits. I have full tutorials how to draw out your wood spirit. Okay, so there's his eyes, his nose, his mustache. And let's try that because then, so we won't take his, this will be the side of his face right here and his forehead. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this on a time lapse video. So I'm going to cut all, yeah, you guys, there's full tutorials on my wood spirits, how to carve wood spirits the way I do. So I'm going to do this on a super hyperlapse speed just to get to the points we want to talk about. Okay. Okay, so you can see here I got his face blocked in now. It's it's not nothing special, but it's something, something, something. So you can see right here, I cut through it. Okay. So when you're doing wood carvings or any kind of art, I don't know, my, this is my opinion, everything's my opinion. Things change. Okay. So this piece has changed. I said at the beginning, it could be a negative space piece. So tribute to Peter Blair. So this piece is going to be a negative space piece. All right. So, you know, it's basically wood carving is layers, right? So here's a top layer. Then this is going to be his hair right here. Okay. So you got two layers, one, two. So I think what I want to do to make it negative space, I'm going to carve more of this out. So make it hollow in there. Um, and I'm going to carve his hair back. So that his hair tucks underneath these cracks and you'll see some back. I'll cut right through back there and you'll see some background there too. Okay. And then, so here... It's going to be another layer. His beard's going to come down here. Okay. I'm going to make it come. It's so the beard's going to be like coming out above the tree. We'll pretend this is the tree, right? This stuff here. His hair is going to be coming out above the tree. And then I'll cut some negative space underneath the beard and make it hollow down here. Like it's broken down there too, or something. I don't know. It's just an experiment guys. Or it's just an experiment. Have fun. So I normally don't draw my beards on, but um, let's just make his beard like this. Okay. So then down here, I'm going to cut right through it this way. And there'll be some negative space, you know, right here. I guess. Yep. Things change in life. Sometimes we just have to adapt and move on. That's what happened with this piece. This whole left side blew out. I don't care. I adapted and move on. That's what you get with driftwood. Sometimes you just don't know what you, well, what did uh, Forrest Gump said? Sometimes you just don't know what's in a box of chocolates. Well, same kind of thing for this. So I think I'm pretty well good carving. The only concern that I have about this piece is that I still have all this color, this this grayish color on here. I've even carved that. 
So I gotta carve this deeper because let's do a spit test. Three, two, one, goober test. But look that little bit, look how dark that went. That's just from the weathered wood, right? So I gotta, look how deeper I have to carve all that. See that, that gray? Where it goes from the white to the gray? I gotta carve like half an inch deeper here and up here too, because this is turning out to be a good piece. I'm liking it, right? So negative space, carry on. I'll get all this cleaned up. I'll carve an eye in it and uh, we'll finish her up. Carry on. Okay, so I've done some sanding up top here. That's all smooth now. I did some burning inside there just to try it out. <clears throat> this is just a little butane burner, guys and girls and everybody. Um, so my objective wasn't to burn for effects. My objective was to burn the fuzzies away because there's a, a carve pretty deep in here. So it's hard to get to the fuzzies with your flap sander. So I've already gone through one thing of, with the flap sander. Okay. This is a Peter Blair mandrel. The, his email will be listed below to get these. Um, this is emery cloth. So that emery cloth means it's cloth back sandpaper. I do uh, five strips or four strips going one way and then a couple strips the other way. So when you're sanding, you get all you get all sides, right? And you can buy rolls. Uh, this is, um, I got this from KMS Tool, but um, you can buy rolls of this stuff. You see, it's just cloth back. Anyways, so I'm gonna do more sanding. Oh yeah, everybody, don't forget about safety. Wear your dusk masks. If you think your um, stuff's repetitive and you got somebody that says, is that all you carve is wood spirits? Is that all you carve is bumblebees? Or is that all you carve is bears or foxes or goats or pigs or squirrels or Jesuses or whatever you carve? Mix it up. You know, don't think that you're a bad artist because you carve the same thing over and over and over again. Because for example, well, I'm not the best artist. I'm getting better with everyone I do. I love carving the wood spirits. You know, this guy kind of looks a little bit like the devil, but he's cool. Um, I love carving the wood spirits, but me mixing it up is doing this negative space stuff. You know what I mean? Challenging, ch challenging yourself on different levels. You know, so don't ever listen. I've said this in a couple of my other videos. Don't ever listen to anybody and say, is that all you, you ever carve? Because once you kind of get for example, the face I got here figured out, then you can start doing it into different things. You know, I could have carved this face and I could have carved leaves all the way around it. I could have carved flowers all the way around it. I could have carved goats all around it. I could have carved whatever I wanted to carve. That's what it's about. Do what you want and don't listen to the people that think that you, that you do repetitive work because every piece you do, you're going to get better and better and better. Carry on. Okay, so you can see I carved an eye in there. No need to put pupils, no need for it. So this is when you kind of stare at your piece and you think, do, am I done? Am I done? Stare at your piece throughout the carving. You know, you'll, you'll see things, you know, take a picture of your carving on your cell phone, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, Look at the picture on your cell phone because you'll see things that don't look correct that you don't like from just looking at the piece, you know. Walk away for half an hour. Go do something else. Get your mind completely off the piece. Then you come back to the piece and you'll see something that you don't like. I see lots of things on this piece that I don't like, but it's good enough. It's done. Okay. So, um, and don't, this broom here is just to make it stand straight or it would fall over. So this is how we do it at Carving Fusion. No need to try and be fancy. Well, because... We're not fancy carvers. We're not fancy people. So we got this uh, Mod Podge. Okay, this is spray. What is it, um, Matt? It's uh, acrylic. You guys, you don't need to. You don't. If this is going to be indoor, outdoor, excuse me, you don't need to spray your piece. You don't need to put a varnish or a finish or a stain on it. You can leave it just like this because look how good it looks now. In my opinion, I think it looks all right. Okay, but you don't need to spray it. Don't think that you have to or put a finish or a stain on it. I know I repeat myself, but anyways, I want to spray this. So I'm going to take it outside and do it, but let's let's give it one little shot here. 
because you see that gray color still down there, right? Because I sounded deeper here, right? I sounded deeper here than down here. So I'm going to take this outside and finish it off, and then uh, I'll give it a good three coats, and then I'll be back. Okay, everybody, it's finished. I got four coats of that stuff on there. I was thinking about putting like a Viking rune up there, but my good enough. So that's how you do it. That's how I do it anyways. I <laughs> um, just want to say uh, happy Saturday. Hope you guys are doing good. Enjoying the rest of the summertime and um, just doing what you love. Find a passion. It will change your life. Carving fusion. Carving fusion. Carving fusion. Carving fusion. Carving fusion. Over and out. Thank you for the support. One more thing, just carve Rob. Quit fishing. We need some more videos. And Ben, studio on the lake. When are you gonna go to outer space and start making some chainsaw carving videos? Carving fusion. Mr. George, over and out.